Hi, good morning and welcome to today's products in focus. So it looks to be the most global equity market is drifting a little bit lower as the dollar stage is a little bit of a comeback versus the USD, but not against the Euro uh, and the uh, dollar yen ticking up there quite quite nicely after having a shocking last couple of days. The dollar seems to be bouncing back ever so slightly. So US 30 there trading below potential support at 17.895. We've had a rebound of the session lows from yesterday, but the next potential support would be 17.738. Other technicals looking relatively neutral. This looking top heavy and to be fair a little bit ugly um, even though some of the economic data coming out yesterday regarding the employment claims um, some of it came in slightly better than it, better than expected but uh, only ever just so slightly so today we've got PMI which uh, only just uh, came in above a contraction at 50.1 the forecast was 50 but this should be sending a little bit of alarm bells over in Asia and China in regards to uh, trying to prompt some more stimulus measures so that uh, China, Japan and South Korea are all showing great signs of slowing which wouldn't be that great in that region of the world which is becoming more and more important for global commerce in the future. So this figure here um, has been quoted a lot in the press over on that side of the world in regards to the Chinese government should try to think about a little bit more stimulus measures we obviously don't really want to do right now. Um, later on today we do have the uh, Purchasing Managers Index in the UK, so you've got PMI uh, for the UK and in the US as well. And then finishing up with domestic auto industry sales which probably isn't that much of interest to most other traders. Uh, heading quickly back on to the UK 100, bear, bear in mind that we do have PMI today, we already had the UK GDP figures disappoint as well. This is kind of moving to the downside, bouncing off 55 period SMA, but the next potential support 69.06. All the technicals are neutral. Uh, this is still obviously at an historic high point, but these kind of uh, formations that we're seeing here are getting quite, quite ugly. Um, if it follows a similar kind of pattern here, you probably expect it to be a little bit more uh, onus for a sell-off. Maybe bring this back to 67.71. And looking at these candle formations, you know, we try to tick, uh, tick up a little bit higher, push back down with that potential resistance at 69.64. <coughs> so next potential support is 69.06. So then looking at Japan 225, it staged a bit of a modest comeback as uh, dollar yen began to tip back up also brings up the, um, the bounce off the 55 period SMA and that also be quite close to that uh, upwards trend line there as well. Okay, so uh, around about 19,270, that could be the next potential support level to be aware of. So actually having a look at that dollar yen position, you can see it's bouncing off 119. Could be looking at the next potential support level at 121.87. Uh, so that's obviously a, a lot further away, but we have finally managed to break above that 119 um, level with some conviction, uh, which is the best it's done since uh, mid-April. So then quickly moving on to West, West Texas crude, uh, $59.50 is the next potential resistance. Crude's really managed to break out right now. Uh, as it looks to be that inventory data is uh, really beginning to, to show a, con a, con a contraction in the uh, acceleration of, um, of distally over there. So um, a lot of traders now seeing that as perhaps the worst is over. Uh, and uh, we have seen that big spring board from there from 54.85 all the way up to 59.50. Uh, and that could be, that is actually a potential resistance level from some time ago. You've actually got to go back. Uh, let's quickly change that onto a weekly interval there for a second and you can see that's actually a potential broken support all the way back from 2009 so quite a significant level on the weekly uh, candlestick charts you can see that's quite a strong looking candle formation that we have right there um, following on from a doji formation the week before so that certainly looks kind of interesting for for crude traders and bear in mind that the US dollar has staged a little bit of a comeback last cut, uh, uh, yesterday. Um, the fact that crude is still going quite strong is, uh, is testament to the fact that maybe it could be back in business. So moving on to uh, on to gold. So the dollar obviously has uh, has gained a bit of momentum. That's really pushed the uh, gold down even further. A real ugly candle there actually yesterday. Uh, fully bearish engulfing pattern, trading below 1186, um, which we've We've been around about those levels before, but for all, almost all of April, we're almost quite close to those monthly lows. Um, obviously, longer term potential support remains at 11.37. So, finishing up with Euro Dollar and GBP USD, uh, Euro Dollar has broken above, comfortably above 1.11. Uh, as Greece continues to make more concessions, they're basically running out of money now, and it's do or die time for, for the government there. So they're trying to do, they're scrambling right now to try and get some sort of deal in place to appease their creditors. So the market's uh, taking that as that Greece will probably have to do what it has to do to um, to make sure that it doesn't run out of money. And I think there was some new slow coming through the other day that um, they're. Uh, 
weekly pensions or monthly pension figures actually came out eight hours late um, to go to the citizens of uh, of Greece because there wasn't any there wasn't enough money there to pay it all, and I think that's sent a little bit of alarm bells there. So certainly looks like they're going to try and do what they what they have to do. Mark is taking that as a as a bullish positive for the euro. So finishing up with GBP USD, it's been going great guns. Had a reversal yesterday, not quite a bearish engulfing pattern as it, as the body of the candle didn't close didn't completely engulf the previous candle. We've got a little bit of positive um, momentum for the daily interval today, but. Uh, one spot 5424 looks to be the potential resistance level to be. Um, so if we fast forward on to Monday for economic data, you can see that we've got uh, Chinese PMI, German PMI, Eurozone PMI again. Uh, so a whole host of data there from, from, from market. And then on Tuesday, uh, obviously Monday being a bank holiday for, for a lot of UK based, uh, based traders. And there on Tuesday, you've got US trade balance and um, the US purchasing managers index as well so as ever keep you on the chart forum make insights part of your layout going forward and join me again on tuesday to find out what happened next